Hey guys, welcome back to Fixing It and today we're going to change the oil on this 2007 350Z. Alright guys, jack up the car or put it up on ramps. Get yourself some cardboard to lay on. You need a drain pan and you're going to need a 14 millimeter wrench to take off the drain plug. So I'm going to get under here and try to show you what I'm doing. Now you're going to have this plastic piece. You could take it off if you want. I'm going to leave it on because you have an access door here for your drain plug and then you have another access door next to it for your filter. So let's take this drain plug off. All right, make sure you have your drain pan in place. All right. Once that's done draining, put your plug back on. Clean everything under here. Okay, you're gonna need a filter socket and a ratchet. That's the size of the socket to get the filter off, okay? Once you get it loose, you can do it by hand. Make sure you have the drain pan underneath to catch uh, to catch it. All right, that's the filter you need, and this is the oil. I'm using full synthetic. You can use regular oil, but just make sure you change the oil more regularly. So what you need to do is take the filter before you put it in. You need to lubricate this uh, this gasket right here. So what you do is just grab a little oil with your finger and just put it over this gasket. All right, this is easier with two hands absolutely. But, all right. Now you're ready to put that back in. All right guys before you put the filter on make sure you clean the mating surface. Now you're gonna tighten it by hand. That's it. All right, we're gonna fill it with five quarts of five W thirty. All right, make sure you clean the inside of this. This rubber piece comes off. You could clean it. Also, clean the inside of the cap. Put the cap back on. And now you could take it off the ramps and check the fluid level. All right, guys, with the car on level ground, you're going to take off the dipstick and clean it and then reinsert it and pull it back out again and check your fluid, okay? So the fluid is halfway between the marks. This takes 5.2 quarts, so add, add some more until it gets to the high mark, but don't overfill it, okay? All right, guys, that's how you change the oil on a Nissan 350Z. I hope this video helped you out. Like and subscribe. Talk to you guys later. Take care.